capable of carrying almost 4,000 rounds of ammunition, including four types of 105 millimeter tactical ammo, the M1128 Striker mobile gun system is lighter and faster than a tank. It's also earning the respect of some tankers from 1st Battalion, 17th Infantry Regiment, who are manning the vehicle for the first time. But for what the MGS is designed for, what's meant to do, you're not going to get much better. Jordan and his newly formed crew completed sustainment gunnery with 117 at the Yakima Training Center in order to get all the MGS crews qualified. It may not sound that difficult, but when you have a brand new crew coming together to successfully operate and qualify on a piece of equipment they've never worked together on before, it can be a lot harder than expected. Sergeant Jordan, he said I'd either be a driver by the time we left or I'd have a mental breakdown and I'm a driver. So. <laughs> Not only did this three-man crew have a new driver, but this was also Private First Class Sean Rowell's first time serving as gunner on the MGS. It's definitely a new experience, uh, pretty stressful, um, just because my uh, vehicle commander has high expectations, which is totally understandable. It was a great experience overall, especially for my first time shooting. It was rough at first. But like anything else, by the end of the gunner, we were clicking pretty good. At the end of the day, the teamwork and experience paid off. After tallying the scores, the team came in second in their battalion. Reporting from the Yakima Training Center in Yakima, Washington, I'm Sergeant Wendy Hall with the 5th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment.